Hello everybody, this is Evelyn speaking. Today I would like to cover on the supermoon energies and how they could be affecting you. Now, not forgetting, we are going to be observing a rare event this week. It's happening in two days time on January 31st and that's the next supermoon. So the supermoon energies could be affecting you and I would like to share some tips on how to support yourself in the next one to two weeks. So do stay with me uh, till the end of this video because I'd also like to end off with a short meditation session. Now I wasn't intending to share about uh, this uh, supermoon energies and all that because I had earlier on uh, shared about the, all these in a written post early in the month. But over the last two weeks to three weeks or so, I had been observing uh, a lot of intense energies for myself and even with some of the people that I worked with. And so I'd like to share more about uh, some of these uh, recent happenings so that you can become also more aware about them. Now, um, if, is this true for you? Like, you know, you find that since December and in particular since the start of this year, that you've been called to be bolder, take bigger risks, step out of your comfort zone, um, dramas happening in a bigger way, and, and they are all to invite you to become a bigger and better version of yourself. Now, it's certainly true for me and uh, with all the clients that you know I, I started to talk to and, and it is what they've been experiencing too. Now, I bet the shifts have been uncomfortable and uh, it's like, you know, you, you want to be off on a great start for 2018. And all the old stories are keeping you stuck, are holding you back. And you find yourself reverting to old patterns again. Now, I'm suggesting that whatever is happening uh, could be due to the supermoon energies, whatever upheaval that you've been experiencing. Let me just uh, share some of the recent happenings and what to do in a presentation in some presentation slides that are prepared for you. Okay, the Supermoon 2018. Now what's up with you lately? You've been called to be bolder, take a risk, step out of your comfort zone or do things differently. You've been triggered into releasing old fears and limiting stories. Dramas and conflicts playing out in a bigger way, shifts being very uncomfortable for you. Now, what's happening at the cosmic level? Let me just uh, kind of go through what could be affecting you. There's the supermoon. Uh, let me first explain what the supermoon uh, means or what it is all about. A supermoon occurs when the full moon is at perigee, and that is the point on its orbit where it's closest to Earth. Now, that's the full moon, um, you know, being at its fullest, right? It, it's, it's, it marks a time of ripening, celebration, community, and culmination. This is also why many ancient tribes had harvest and fertility rituals during the full moon phase. With its fullness, it's also about stepping into your highest potential. You will be called to become whole, you'll be called to celebrate your wholeness and fullness. And as the supermoon wanes, it's also a call upon you to release any fears or limiting patterns that obstruct you in terms of growth. Now, when you think about the supermoon, like, you know, it, it being complete, it being at its fullest, right? It's about wholeness, it's about completeness. Now, with this supermoon happening so close to the earth, it's going to pull you even more, making you more aware and activating all your psychic senses. Now, the biggest and most empowering shift of this period will happen at the end of the supermoon triad, okay, which is going to be occurring in two days' time. Because um, we, are in, uh, we are in a triad, uh, and that's called the supermoon triad. So... Uh, if you can remember, we had the first supermoon that was uh, in Jan that was in December third, two zero one seven. The second supermoon was early this month, January first, uh, two zero one eight. With the last supermoon 
that is going to be happening in two days' time. So this will mark the completion of this triad, this supermoon triad. And so the energies are pretty intense this period. And um, whatever is happening on January 31st is also called the super blue blood moon. So the moon is going to be um, really huge and it's really, it's, it's really going to be huge. And it being a blue moon, okay, what, what does a blue moon mean? It means that it's a rare occasion. To have two supermoons happening in the same month is considered rare. So as I said, you know, or as I had mentioned, the first supermoon was in, on January 1st, 2018. And the next supermoon we are having is at the end of this month. Now, um, what's also happening is that there is also going to be a total lunar eclipse. And during a total lunar eclipse, the Earth's shadow covers the moon. Hence, the lunar eclipse will show up your shadow side. So expect plenty or a lot of your subconscious beliefs, emotions and fears to come up to the surface. And this powerful event can spark massive transformation for you. It is a reminder for you to release all that stops you from aligning with your highest potential. Now with all these strong energies, um, affecting you know all of us what can you do about it now if you've been called to step up but you're not sure how you don't know what to do um, my suggestion is to wait out until the answers become clear be patient with yourself this period and so even if you don't have all the answers on how you're going to go about getting your message across what to do just wait out the answers will be revealed. Uh, look out for the signs. Now stop people pleasing. Just don't be a doormat. Avoid getting people's approval for things that matter to you, um, for aligning with your highest potential or becoming the best version of yourself. So stop people pleasing. Simply step up. Take courage with stepping up. So overcome your fears. Maybe it's public speaking. Maybe it's just voicing your truths. Take on leadership roles um, if you're called to do if you're called upon them. Honor your instincts, bring out your creative flow. For an, for example, you may find yourself going back to interests that you feel passionate about. It's exactly what has happened to me. I find myself yearning and playing more with my essential oils. You know, making blends and all that um, after uh, after you know just um, not not uh, using them uh, for a period, um, especially when I was away during my holidays, I didn't bring all my essential oils with me. So when I got back uh, just two weeks ago, I started, you know, I felt this intense draw to start playing with them once again. Now cleanse your energy, take salt water baths, you know, do detoxification, cleansing, uh, consume high vibrational foods such as fruit and vegetables. Now this is a great time for you uh, for some major personal transformation to remove blocks, old patterns and to realize and manifest your purpose and to expand your conscious awareness. Now if you are actively attuning and integrating the cosmic energy that's great for you. Uh, avoid you know fearfully resisting some of your old patterns, uh, don't, um, or rather avoid being in a place of fear and uh, also reflect on some of the lessons, integrate the lessons and um, go into quiet uh, contemplations and do more meditation during this period. So these are some of the great ways that you can support yourself um, or continue to support yourself in the next one week, especially uh, when the the moon is waning and it will be an invitation for you to release any fears that obstruct you in terms of your growth, in terms of your soul evolution. Now, um, I've also, as I've shared, I've been using essential oils this period to support a shift and I've also incorporated the intention while using these oils and the intentions are about transformation, highest potential, surrendering to the process and release. 
So if you've got essential oils yourself, do apply them, do infuse them with the various intentions that will be supportive for you in terms of making this shift, in terms of uh, supporting you in your uh, transformation. Now I'd like to invite you to a short meditation session. So if you can, just you know, relax for a while. And close your eyes. Relax from the top of your head, down your face, your neck, your shoulders, down your chest, hands, stomach, all the way down your legs and to the soles of your feet. And all the way to your toes. Relax completely. Connect with your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And bring attention to your breath. Now if you've got thoughts about the past or the future, simply bring your mind to the present moment. Allow your breath to be your guide and bring your attention right here, right now. Breathe in love and breathe out all that no longer serves you. Continue to relax completely. Now bring awareness to what's most awesome about yourself and tell yourself, you know what, I'm pretty cool. Appreciate all the wonderful qualities that is in you. And start to think about the amazing gifts that you have, the message that you bring or hoping to bring and how you've been making a difference to the people around. It's okay to be in this space of self-appreciation. You're loving yourself this moment. Breathe in and breathe out deeply and evenly. Feel the goodness in this present moment, that you're well, healthy and alive. Feel how wonderful it is to know that you're constantly changing that you've been growing and that you've always had the potential to grow. See the picture of yourself shifting and stepping into your highest potential, shining and sharing your love with the people around and doing good in the world. With your next out breath, release any fears, limiting patterns, and all that obstructs you on your path. With your next in-breath, invite in all the possibility that life can bring for you. Feel a sense of gratitude, peace, love, joy, as you affirm the choice to align with your highest path and purpose. Sit in this wonderful experience of possibility, growth and transformation. You allow and surrender to the process of making a shift, knowing in your heart that you will always be guided and that this shift into your highest potential is already manifesting for you. Now, bring back all that nice, warm and positive feelings with you to the present moment. When you're ready, wriggle your fingers and toes and come back to the moment of now and open your eyes. Hope the meditation session has been a helpful one for you. Well, if it did, um, if, if it helped you to become calmer, more peaceful, 
I'll appreciate a thumbs up to this video right below. Now, if you need further assistance, please contact me. I'll be happy to help you uh, with your coaching and healing needs. And uh, do take care in the next one to two weeks. I hope that uh, whatever is happening to, you know, all that shifts uh, will be, um, you know, that you manage to support yourself during this period. And um, may the next one to two weeks be an awesome one for you. Love and abundance always.